Today, an art journal tutorial. This one's from my napkin series. I'm going to be starting with an Insta background on this one. Hi, I'm Creative Katie Karen Virgil. Welcome to my channel. Let's get started. So here is a gorgeous gel print. This was used with a shelf liner, a sink liner, and it started off this process because I was thinking waters. So I went to my napkin folder and I'll put an eye card to show you how I organize that. And I pull out this napkin with these ships and yes, I lucked out. I already had some of these pieces cut out because I was auditioning them on a previous page. So I'm going to glue the Insta background down. Now I could rip it up and have bits and pieces, but you know, I am just want to get on with creating. So I am just putting a good coat of fluid matte medium down, and then I'm brayering to flatten this, but I have lots of wrinkles and lots of additional texture on this background. So my background is pretty much started and I love it. And my intention at this time was to pretty much keep it as it was. We'll see how that works. Checking the corners, making sure that everything is perfectly adhered, and then I'm setting that aside to dry. It does take a little bit of time. So I'm going to my napkin. Now I had a couple of the, the ships were, but the lighthouse with the seagulls still had a lot of bits and bobs around it. So I'm using my liner brush and I'm water cutting the excess off and then just playing with the composition. I am going to use the napkins and some stencils to build my own focal image. I was going to use that, but the scale was all wrong. I have a sentiment pack called Ocean Commotion, and you can purchase that at Ninny's Napkins. You can go there and check out what's in there. And there were several quotes that would go with the ships and the ocean theme that I've got going on. So I cut them out and I'm auditioning them. Haven't made the final decision at this point. I'm gluing down the lighthouse in the corner and I deliberately put it up because I plan on stenciling that starfish in the corner. Now I noticed when I glued down the lighthouse that some of the lines from the background, the Insta background, are showing through. So I'm just going to white them out because they would definitely show a lot on the ship. So I'm just using a makeup sponge and doing that and then I'm gluing it down. I fold it up, glue the top, and then glue the bottom. And again, I'm using my fluid matte medium. Still playing around about where I might want to put my sentiment. And making a decision. Now that ship, I reversed it. And since I didn't have a reverse, I just used the back of the napkin and it still shines through. Now I'm using a collection of paints, unbleached titanium, a Naples yellow, and I'm just with a very painterly effect and white gesso, just adding some color to the focal images just to make them pop a little bit more. And you can see the difference from the one that I've done and the one that I haven't done yet. I'm not trying to recreate exactly what was there. So napkins are great to you to use to find focal image. I don't have the ability to paint a ship from scratch, but I can paint over it and using the napkin as the guide. So now I'm again painting, adding some depth to the ship, adding browns and blacks, and I mix colors right on the brush, usually with some white gesso, just to build it up. You've seen me do this, I find this a very zen process and I absolutely love doing it. And the more you do it, the better you get at doing it. Mixing some grays. And I'm just using my Liquitex Basics medium body paint and white gesso 
And often I'm mixing colors because when you look at the napkins and different things, they're not just one tone. Adding some red, an orangey red to the lighthouse to make it stand out. Adding that red to the ships. Now I'm going to stencil this starfish in. Now I stencil it and when I lift it up, it, of course, it doesn't give me the solid solidness of a sand or this starfish. So I'm painting it out and then I'm going to come back and stencil the details in after. And again, I'm mixing paint. I've got a little bit of orange, a little bit of brown, a little bit of white gesso. I don't want it to be flat. I want to have some interest in there. I could have used modeling paste here and I colored it with orange to put in there or paint it afterwards. I want these starfish to hold down the page. It just seemed a little bit light and I needed some a darker color. It just grounded it somehow. At least that was my thinking at this point. So I'm just stenciling it, then I, it's basically giving me the outline that I need, and then I'm painting it in. And you can see, take napkins, take magazines, and layer things up and build your own. I decided at that point not to use that motif. Still deciding what sentiment. I really like this one. We can't change the direction of the winds but we can adjust the sales. And doesn't that really wrap up this entire last year? We just had to constantly adjust our sales. And I guess you can do that even as we do an art journal page, just constantly adjusting what we're doing based on what happens. I'm liking that quote, I'm liking it separate. But I'm finding that the background right now, as much as I love it, is very light. So I decide that I'm going to do a light wash. I'm rubbing turquoise over it with water. Then I look up and I see I'm adding a little bit darker blue here just for variation. I grab this ripple stencil. And I thought, oh, I can remove that through and I'll get that pattern. But of course it had dried too much. So I'm adding more paint and then removing the paint through the stencil. And I'm loving, loving, loving that ripples patterning that it's giving to the background. Down low, I'm going, I'm coming in with Prussian blue. I just want to build a little bit more variation and absolutely loving this. It really resembles water to me when it's sparkling kind of in the sunlight. So when I'm doing a page, I don't necessarily do it in a straight line. Sometimes I jump around. I do what I know I want to do. Some parts I am not sure, so I give it some think time. So here I'm putting that stencil back on. I've created a mask with the starfish because I want the one starfish to be look like it's in front of the others. And I'm stenciling that on. It's a very imperfect job, but we'll get to that later. I'm mixing black and brown. I like that one. I got better as I went. Here I tried to touch it up and it made a bit of a mess. Now, in the quote, it said the direction of the winds. So I wanted to make it look like it was a little windier. So I grabbed this capricious stencil. 
from the Crafters Workshop, and I'll list these and links in the description box. And I'm stenciling with Prussian blue. And I just want this to give the illusion of wind. And maybe that's the sky there. Not sure. This is chicken wire reversed and I'm stenciling with white paint here. And I'm loving this look. I just so am happy with the decisions that I made. You're not always happy with what the decision that you make, it's, but sometimes the art journal gods look down at you and smile. I just like the variation. We have the same, but different on the top and the bottom. And if you go back and compare it to where this picture was just with the Insta background, I hope you agree with me that this is an improvement over that. Some would mourn the loss of an Insta background because it was beautiful. I could have taken a picture of it. I could have scanned it and saved it. I edged around the, the page and now I'm shading around to make these starfish stand out. And I'm using black paint. I really love that lighthouse with those starfish. That alone could be an iCAD or a card or an art journal page. And since I have more of that, because you get four of them on each napkin, I can make that. So I'll write this idea down in my book and maybe at some other point in time, I'll come back to it. I just wanted to add more. So I grabbed from this, I think it's called Papillon, Papillon. It's a Tim Holtz stamp set. I stamped the words and now I'm coming in with the butter, butterfly, which seems odd, but it's talk about winds of change and butterflies are all about transformation. And I just, but symbolically it went together. And I really like the butterfly in the background. I'm just doing a little bit of shading to make the ship stand out a little bit more. And now I'm adding back some of that lines the, from the, is it rigging? Is it called rigging on the, the ropes that are on the ship? I'm just adding it in and I just want it to look sketchy. So I'm using my charcoal pencil. And I'm looking at one of the portions of the napkin to see where the lines were. But nobody's going to know if you're 100% correct or not. Uh, last try on all the sentiments. I'm going with my original choice. But I am deciding to cut it up a little bit more. And I'm putting, we can't change the direction of the winds, but going down the middle. And then we can adjust the sails is going to be down low, which if your eye just goes there, reads as a complete thought or motivator. I didn't like this starfish, so I decided to correct it. I'm jessoping over it, painting it back to orange, and I'm going to re-stencil it and hopefully do a better job. If you don't like something, there's always gesso. I decided to fix this one as well.
using the mask and I'm just going to line this starfish up and fingers crossed do a better job of stenciling. And I'm so glad I did attempt to fix it because it looks much better. I'm happy. Add a little more shading back in with my General's Charcoal Pencil. I'm using the heat tool to heat up the tape to remove it so it doesn't take off the paper. Using my Secura Glaze Black to outline the sentiment just to make it stand out a little bit more. And now I think we're ready for a recap. Here is the page. I love all the details and things that I've tried. So we started with an Insta background. It was a gel print that I collaged the whole thing down. And that gave me the theme and pointed me in the direction. I selected a napkin that went in the ocean theme with the ships, and I cut out the elements using my liner brush. I applied a wash of color to the whole page, and then I removed paint through the stencil. Remember that ripple stencil? Great effect. I used different colors on the top and the bottom. I stenciled on the top and the bottom different ones again to make it look like air, the, the sky and the water, and I stamped. Then I painted over the focal image using a painterly effect. I shaded and highlighted the focal images. And then I added the stenciling on top of the starfish. I use the stencil to make, build my focal image. I don't have a card for that. I added the sentiment. And I edged the page. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Until then, go get creative.